Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jordi from Yepper Design and welcome to the Adobe Premiere Pro Basic Training. Um, in this tutorial I will teach you how to use uh, multiple effects on a clip or on an image. Okay, so how to mix uh, more effects and how to place them on the right position. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna import, I'm gonna right click, say so import a photo for this example. Okay, um, now I'm gonna use the video, that's way cooler. Okay, um, so I've got a video and I'm gonna place it on my timeline. Uh, I'm gonna disable the uh, sound for now. Okay, and uh, so this is my video. Um, I'm gonna scale it up a bit. There we go. Um, and now I'm gonna give it a old t television look, so a uh, very brown look. Um, so I'm gonna mix three effects for this. Uh, I'm gonna search after them. Uh, some versions have this search option, other versions not, so you'll just have to uh, look through the uh, folders for that, okay? Uh, we're gonna add brightness and contrast. I'm just gonna drag it onto our clip. We're gonna add a um, noise and grain, so noise. I'm gonna add a uh, tint. There we go. Um, now we're gonna place these ones in the right position. Okay. First, we're gonna add brightness and contrast. So I'm first gonna uh, unthink these two. So I can think the effect on or off. Okay. On or off, also for the tint. Uh, so I'm just gonna think these two off for now because we're gonna start with the brightness and contrast. We wanted to give a dark look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase, uh, I'm sorry, decrease the brightness a bit and increase the contrast, okay, to give it uh, this good, deep, um, dark look, okay. Um, on the brightness and contrast, we wanna add a tint. So I'm gonna move the tint up the noise. That's important that you do that. I'm gonna bring the tint on uh, we don't want them to have uh, black and white, okay, we can use black and white. The old televisions also had black and white, but I want to have a more brown look, okay. So I'm going to pick brown for the black ones, I'm going to take very dark brown. And then for the white one, um, I'm going to pick a little smooth bright color, uh, brown color, okay, there we go and uh, we'll have this effect, okay? So we already uh, see nice, cool, brown, dark tint on it. Uh, and now we're gonna add noise on it. So we're gonna think noise on, gonna close tint for uh, for now. Um, they're gonna uh, increase the amount of noise. I'm gonna increase it, and there you see, so you see what noise does, okay? Now you also see, uh, the RGB colors in the noise, so we don't want that. So we're gonna unthink use color noise. Okay, so it's just that. But you see, it's a bit too much. I'm gonna decrease it. There, that's enough. Um, this is a, a special attribute. It's um, uh, it's already animated uh, in s sort of a way. Okay, so if I'm gonna play it. You see the noise is going around. And we have a very old television look. Okay, now why is it so important that we um, use uh, these positions of the effects? Well, the brightness and contrast is an effect on the clip. The tint is an effect on the clip and on the brightness and contrast. And the noise is an effect on the clip, on the brightness and contrast and on the tint. So if you move our noise up, um, you will see that the tint doesn't have that much of, of an impact anymore. And by the way, if we um, use the color noise now, we don't see the colors. Okay, I'm going to increase it more. You don't see the RGB colors anymore. And the reason for that is because we've added also a tint on the colors, as you see. So if I move the colors down of the tint, we do see the RGB colors again, okay? Because there's no tint on it. The tint is on the brightness and contrast and on the clip, okay? Um, well, I think that's it 
for now. This was a very small tutorial. Okay, it was just to explain that the position of your uh, effects is very important and that you uh, well to reach uh, nice effects on a video you have to mix effects. Okay, I can't explain all the plugins, all the effects in here. Um, I'll just say just experiment with it. Okay, just pick one out. Just for pick this one, drag it onto your clip and play with the attributes and see what it does. Okay, now this one is to give uh, a 3D effect. Okay, so just play with it around. Uh, also play with the um, animation tools. Okay, so you get so, so you also get the hang of that. Uh, all effects have uh, animation um, possibility, possibilities. Okay, um, well this is it I think. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something out of this tutorial. Uh, I'm Jordi from Yipper Design and see you next time.